your brother, your friend, your dietitian back again for another installment in spirit, nutrition, how to solidify your new self-image. Let's get it pop. How to solidify your new self-image. So, I, like I said, I want to massage the self-image concept into minds of any viewers that are watching my first video on self-image, the self-concept. Next image, the next video about how to do it for, how to strengthen and solidify the self-image of African-American male to how to strengthen the self-image in general for anyone. To now, how to solidify your new self-image. So I spoke about how the self-image is one's beliefs about our beliefs and ideas about their identity based on how society has perceived and received them how their family teachers friends and society has treated them right talked about how the self-image can be augmented it can be improved it can be leveled up it could be modified right it could be changed up <laughs> so we talked about some tools on that. Now that you've created a new self image, you've gone to get some new fish, you've seen yourself in a new light. How do you solidify that? Because it's not enough to just have the new self image. You want to become that new self. You want to become and embody and become one with that new self image. So I want to talk about how to solidify that. First step is to Imagine yourself already in your new self-image. If you want to be gregarious and more social, but you're more shy, shy person and introvert, imagine yourself already that social light, that social butterfly, that gregarious person, that more extroverted person. Imagine yourself and see and feel how that would be. In order to do this, you have to visualize yourself in mental pictures in that state, that new state. Also, you have to feel with strong emotions how great it would be to become that social butterfly. Or you could feel a social butterfly with whatever, rich, communicative, eloquent, articulate, uh, assertive, whatever you wanna fill in the blank in with, you could fill in the blank. Once you've imagined yourself in a new state, you've pictured, you visualize yourself in a new state, you've felt how it would feel, what you're gonna realize is that you're going to have resistances because in the subconscious mind, what you've done is disrupted things. The conscious mind and your actions, your habits and your reactions to things are based on, all your habits are based on, based in the subconscious mind. I always point back like, like the mind is back here, but it's subconscious, so it's based in the subconscious mind. Whenever you wanna change a habit, you start disrupting things inside the subconscious mind. So you start planning ideas, images, mental pictures in the back of the subconscious mind saying, look, I know I was non-assertive. I know I was shy, I know I was goofy, I know I joked around too much. I know I've been doing it for 10 years, I know I've been doing it for my whole life. But listen up, move the cobwebs, we're coming through, I'm gonna become gregarious, I'm gonna become more solemn, I'm gonna become more assertive. Whatever that thing you wanna become, you, you're planting that new seed in the subconscious mind. It's like having a garden in the back, having a wild backyard with just weeds and all kind of plants just growing and you're saying no we're planting a new tract in the subconscious mind so you got to go in you got to cut down the weeds you got to start putting down the fertilizer you got to kill kill the uh the bad the bad insects you got to just change things up but what's going to happen you're going to get bit by mosquitoes bugs going to be jumping out of nowhere you're going to get resistance that's what's going to happen so in order to solidify that new self-image you have to keep planting the seed 
in the subconscious and saying, this is the new image. This is who I am. And now when you have thoughts of being shy, thought by thought, you have to control it. And no, I'm gonna go and say hi to that person. I'm terrified, but I'm gonna go and say hi. You're a shy person, you wanna be more, you're more uh, uh, a passive person. You wanna be more assertive. Your natural reflex, that natural habit in the subconscious mind that's rooted in the subconscious mind tells you, all right, you're just gonna be passive. No, stop that thought. Each individual thought you control. We only can have one thought at a time. So change that thought from passive to no, I'm gonna be assertive. And you act on that. You wanna be more solemn, you wanna be more serious. You're always joking around. Somebody says something, <laughs> you're giggling, think, no. Stop yourself and move forward. What you're doing now is driving a new thought track into the subconscious mind. Because right now you got deep grooves of being shy. You got deep grooves of being passive. You got deep grooves of being uh, sportive and jocular and too jokey, too, playing around too much. You have these deep grooves of that, but your new, your new self, your new self image, it's like a record player. It barely has any grooves. So thought by thought, action by action, emotion by emotion, you have to put those grooves in. And then you look, use the law of repetition. The law of repetition is gonna help you with solidifying, solidifying your, your new self image. After you've controlled your thought, thoughts one by one, after you've redirected each thought one by one, you've visualized and, rep and done it re repeated, repeatedly, visualize yourself as the new person, that new woman, that new gregarious woman, as you felt how it would feel to be gregarious, to be more serious, to be more assertive. After you do all that, use the law of repetition. Use the law of repetition, meaning if you do something enough, that groove, that new tr thought track is gonna get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until eventually, like I spoke about in the other video, at 5 a.m., you're just gonna wake up. This morning at 4 something a.m., I woke up before my alarm. I said, let's get it popping. And then I heard <laughs> E.T. And he, and he was up and I said, let's get it pop. Let's do it. What's up? Let's grind. And I, and I went and I, I studied. I, I did my business. I went to the gym. I had my business. So um, you keep using the law of repetition. Thought by thought, you're gonna battle it out and you're gonna create that new self. This is how you can become anything you wanna be, how you can change your self image. And by changing the self image, you can become whatever you wanna be. Um, I said to use the law of repetition. I said to use the imagination. I said to visualize. I said control thought by thought. The next thing I wanna say is there will be a gestation period, but it'll be a short period. Okay, in order to become what you want to be and in order to solidify this new self image, each time you have a th thought of inferiority, each time you have a thought of shyness, each time you have a thought of being passive, each time you have a thought of being too silly, too joking, too this, too that, you want to stop it in its track. You want to have a vigilant mind, constantly guard the mind. I'm doing jury duty right now, right? Out, out here in LA. Can't tell you the details of the case, it's against the law. But one thing I admire about the lawyers, specifically the defense counsel, I don't even know if I'm breaking the law by saying this. All I'm gonna say is, is that he's always awake. If there's anything to be objected to, if there's any breach in the law, if there's any mistake that the other lawyer's making, boom, he's on it, boom. Objection, Your Honor. Objection, objection, objection. He's consciously aware of everything going on. You have to be forever vigilant at the gate of your mind. You always have to stay vigilant. So stay vigilant of all your thoughts. 
the next thing is I kind of jumped over the gestation period and I, I was saying be vigilant. The next thing is to remember the gestation period. There's going to be a period where there's going to be some soreness. It's going to be some difficulty. It's going to be some trials and tribulations before you solidify that new self-image. I'll give you an example. Your goal here is to become, to feel natural, to feel totally natural in your new self-image. Right now you have a self-image that's over here. It's a broken down self-image. You want to repair that. Over here is a different state. There's one state that you're in currently and you want to reach this state. In between these two states of, of self-image is going to be uncomfortability. There's going to be soreness. It's going to be growing pains. There's going to be difficulties, right? But your goal and my goal and our goal is to get to this point and feel natural. To feel natural to be gregarious. Feel natural to have total self-control and not be joking and silly all the time. To feel natural uh, to be assertive and uh, speaking your mind, right? And not always shy and diffident and looking down. You want to feel natural in that state. And these are the ways to get to that point of feeling natural and normal, of being assertive, of being a boss player, of being a shot caller, of having giant thoughts, limit, limit, limitless thoughts. At first, it's not, it doesn't, won't feel normal to say, oh yeah, that's nothing. I, I make, you know, 10 G's a week or that's nothing, I, you know, speak, growing up and speaking to people. First, it is going to be difficult, but eventually it's going to become natural. I'll give you the example I was about to give you. The birds, they... They love us. Um, the example I was going to give you is when I ran track as a youth, Palisades Charter High School, shout out to them, um, my legs would get extremely sore within the first uh, first couple weeks of running track. But little did I know that if I stuck with it and if you stick with it, your legs get reinforced your legs get used to the exercise and the soreness goes away it's the same way in life when you're trying to solidify your new self-image and when you're trying to be whatever you want to be and have whatever you want to have it's going to be some soreness along the way but it's only going to be a short period and eventually you'll feel natural and having self-control you'll feel natural and speaking with poise. You'll feel natural with being friendly. You'll feel natural when you're more serious and solemn, right? You feel natural as an assertive person. And that's the goal, to solidify, to crystallize that new self-image. Now you're not doubtful of yourself, right? You're not a negative, depressed person all the time. You have a new self-image. You're not limited by race or ethnicity, age, nationality, religion, locale. You're limitless. You, you can accomplish anything. So I hope these different ways helped in solidifying your new self-image. Always imagine and visualize yourself in the state that you want to be in. See mental pictures. Use mental pictures. Also use emotions and feel how it would feel if you were the person that you want to become. Right? Then control thought by thought. Be ever vigilant with your mind, making sure that any thoughts that come in of shyness, of uh, being silly, of being, uh, what's the other one? Shy, silly, um, and being passive. These are just examples. If any of those come up, you control them thought by thought. You use the law of repetition to make sure the grooves get deep and be consistent. You allow the law of habit also to take, take, its, take its course. Wherein your subconscious mind realizes, oh man, they're changing up the program. I got a new habit to, to, to uh, program, basically, in their minds, like a computer program. We're writing a new habit program, meaning they're not that person anymore. This is the new person. Remember, the soreness and the growing pains are only a short time period. It's a gestation period, a growth period. And lastly, eventually, you will move from here to here, and you will be comfortable in your new, solidified, baller, positive, happy, confident, self-image. Let's get it pop, man. Peace and blessings.